I try to incline my heart to hear the word of God. But the noise I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. I'm Alvin L. Daniel, senior minister here at the Hope Church of Christ, giving God the honor, the praise, and every ounce of the glory because the God that we serve is worthy of our praise. Good morning to you and welcome to uh, this Monday morning's devotion. And uh, I'm glad that we're able to share God's word uh, together on this morning. I'm going to share a, a thought or two from um, 1 Samuel chapter number 17. It's a text that I have uh, been preaching from as of late. And I just want to share a thought or two as it relates to our devotion uh, on this morning. And let me read from 1 Samuel chapter number 17. Let's read 38 and verse number uh, 39. The Bible says, And Saul armed David with his armor. And he put an helmet of brass upon his head, and he uh, armed him with a coat of mail. And David girded his sword upon his armor, and he assayed to go, for he had not proved it. And David said unto Saul, I cannot go with these, for I have not proved them. And David took them off, or put them off. And if you press me for a subject for um, this morning's devotion, the thought would be, uh, go for what you know. Go for what you know. And here it is, um, that... There's a difference between anointed and the appointed. God always anoints uh, his people, which means that God gives them, God empowers them to do whatever it is that they do. And when you're anointed by God, and when God is moving in your life, when God opens doors for you, you can believe that uh, you're going to have some detractors. Uh, you're going to have folk that will get in your way, people that tell you you can't do certain things, you can't go certain places, you can't become certain things, you can't be successful, and you cannot uh, achieve. And such was the case with David and his own brothers. And sometimes those who challenge you, those who are standing your way, are those who are closest to you. But when you're anointed by God, God will put you in the presence of great men. And I heard Solomon say, a man's gift will make room for him and usher him in the presence of, of great men. So David uh, is having a conversation with Saul, and you know the story, that after David uh, persuaded uh, Saul that he's able to go out and fight this 10-foot-tall giant, although Saul himself does not believe, does not have the confidence in David that David has in his Lord, he still offers him his armor. And the crux of what I want to get to you today is that Whenever God has an assignment for you, whenever God has called you to do something that is uniquely yours, um, you have to learn how to rely on what God has given you. Whatever gift, whatever talent that God has bestowed upon you, that talent alone, those gifts alone will get you to the next level in your life. And see, men will try to take credit for what God is doing in your life. Notice now. When uh, David moves to fight this giant called Saul, he gives him his armor, his shield, uh, his spear, his sword, everything that he has. And David tries it on, and it's cumbersome to David. David tries to move forward with it, and he cannot. So he took the stuff off. What does that mean, preacher? That means that sometimes you have to uh, disrobe yourself of things that others try to impose upon you. If God gives you a unique ministry, God has a unique blessing for your life, God has a unique skill set for you, don't allow others to impose their will, their talents, whatever their strategy is, whatever their methodology is on you. Because God will get a single victory out of the plain thing, the simple thing that he has blessed you with. And David is moving around in this stuff. And the Bible says he cannot move forward. And we cannot make progress. We cannot be successful with what others try to give to us. And the stuff that other people try to put on us. Because if we are successful, they'll try to take the credit for it. And God will not allow anybody to share his glory. So David took the stuff off. And that's what we have to do sometimes as, as called people. We have to take stuff off that other people uh, put on us, their theories, their strategies, whatever the case might be, their opinions. And sometimes you have to shed friends and shed other people who don't share in your vision, who don't share uh, in your dream. They don't have the same mindset. They don't have the same passion for whatever it is that God has called you to do. And David simply chooses five smooth stones. And not to prolong this devotion, but there's some good stuff right here. Um, he chooses five smooth stones, which means he carefully chose he carefully picked out what he wanted to use to defeat his giant, to go to his next level. And that's what we have to do. Uh, appointed people don't choose carefully. They are where they are because somebody else put them there. But when God puts you in a place, you have to be careful as to who you choose, who you align yourselves up with, 
who you um, ally yourself with, uh, those who you attach to your ministry, those who attach to your life, the relationships that you're in. You don't want to choose people who have been tried, who have been true, whom God has been working on. They've been under pressure. They've withstood the test of time. They're faithful. They have passion just like you because you don't want to link up with people that's going to hold you back. And so suffice it to say that uh, David gained the victory because God chose him and he chose others very carefully uh, as to how he wanted to gain his victory. And I hope, trust, pray that you have gained from this devotion this morning that use what God has given you and um, be uh, confident in knowing that if God brought you to it, God will bring you through it and God will get the victory and be careful, always careful to give God his honor, give God his praise and give God his glory. Use what God has given you. Hope, trust and pray that uh, these words will hold you to the next time. Until the next time, God is good all the time and all the time, God is good. Good morning. Yeah, cause he's been watching over me all the